runners, Coach Elizabeth here. Today I'm talking about how to optimize your iron absorption. A lot of runners are deficient in iron, so if you're gonna be taking it, we wanna make sure that you know the right time, the right dose, and what the best foods are. A lot of runners have been asking me about iron. It's something that I think they're worried about. Are my levels high enough? Am I getting enough? Am I eating the right foods? That's a really valid concern. Our friends over at Inside Tracker, their studies have shown that about 50% of female runners and about eight to 10% of male runners are low in iron. So it's something that you wanna make sure that you're either getting tested or at least being aware of. Iron is essential for all of us, but especially for runners. It's something that helps with oxygen transport, and the more active you are, the breakdown of those red blood cells kind of diminishes our ability to absorb iron and produce it. So, I'm gonna go through some things today, ways to optimize your intake, remind you of some of the foods for high iron, and make sure that you have this all under control. So there are two ways to optimize and kind of boost our iron intake, make sure that we're getting enough. The first way, and my favorite, is through a whole food diet. So the foods that we eat on a daily basis. Things like lean cuts of red meat, organ meats, beans such as lentils, dark chocolate, leafy greens, all of those things are good for us and can help boost our iron levels. The second way is through supplementation. Now you can either do that through a liquid iron supplement, which is my favorite. It tastes kind of like you're drinking a penny, which is kind of awful but it has a higher absorption rate and it's sometimes easier to remember and can cause less of those side effects that you get with an iron pill. Those side effects are like nausea and constipation. So you have a liquid form and then you have a pill form. Either way, if your iron levels are low, if you've tested or if you don't eat a lot of those foods that I mentioned earlier, a supplement is something to consider so that you make sure you're getting enough iron. All right, now, you realize that you're low in iron and you need a little supplementing. So, you get down to the store, buy that nice piece of red meat, or your supplement, your liquid iron, or your pill. How's the, what's the right way to take it so that you're not wasting your money? There are definitely some tips. I'm gonna go through a few of them so that you are getting the most optimizing your iron absorption. Now, the first one, I'm gonna call hashtag don't waste the steak. So, it's kind of natural after you have a really hard workout to think, okay, now I'm gonna go home and have this big, uh, you know, ground beef burger meal or, uh, you know, some kidney beans, some of those kinds of things, lentils with a big salad in order to boost my iron levels. After a really hard workout is not the best time to do it. So save that expensive recovery steak for an easy day or even a recovery day. When inflammation levels are high, which we experience when we're doing really hard training sessions, that limits your iron absorption. So save that expensive cut of meat or your iron supplement for not immediately after or on those hard training days. So when is the ideal time? If you're gonna do an iron supplement, when do you wanna take that? Two kind of guidelines I'm gonna give you. The first is you wanna take it either an hour before your meal or two hours after. The point being you wanna take it on somewhat of an empty stomach so that the other foods that you're eating aren't interfering with the absorption. Now that kind of four hour window might be a little difficult to find in your day. You're thinking, well, I have breakfast, a snack, lunch, dinner, I have training at this time. How am I supposed to fit it all in? So if you can't find that four hour window, I personally have been low in iron, so I take mine at night before bed. Um, that's kind of, I seem to find the best window of opportunity. Uh, it's, you know, you stop eating two hours or so before you go to sleep, uh, which also has other benefits like helping hormones, helping with sleep, helping with blood sugar regulation and insulin sensitivity. That two hours before bed, stop eating. And then when you go to bed, you'll have that empty stomach to take your iron. So another tip, if you don't wanna take it at night, is you can have maybe an extra large breakfast or lunch and then skip that snack, either in the afternoon or the mid-morning, so you give yourself four hours. So I'm not saying cut out 
calories or snacks, just maybe have a slightly larger breakfast or lunch, and then that'll leave a window of opportunity in the afternoon um, when you'll have an empty stomach and you can take your supplement. All right, the last tip, let's say you can't wait that, that full time or you're hungry and you need some kind of a snack. If you're going to have a snack with your iron supplement, try taking something that has vitamin C in it. That will help with absorption. But try to find something that's lower in fiber because fiber can block iron absorption. So vitamin C, good. Fiber, bad when taking your supplement. So something like an orange or red bell pepper or even a kiwi, those are good vitamin C options uh, that are high in vitamin C and lower in fiber. The last little point I wanna make is kind of guiding you on how much to take. As I mentioned earlier, Iron supplements can lead to nausea or constipation. So in order to avoid that, in order to make sure that your body gets settled and used to things and you're not overloading yourself on iron, you wanna start with about 14 micrograms one time a day. And then if you find that that settles and it's still not boosting your iron levels and you need a little bit more, then go to 14 micrograms twice a day and just separate out the doses. So be sure if you're picking a supplement that you start on the lower end and then work your way up once you know your body can tolerate it and when you're sure that that's actually something that you need in order to boost your levels. All right guys, iron. You wanna make sure that you're absorbing it, getting it in. I've given you some tips today and hopefully you will be a stronger, better runner with great iron levels. Test, test, one, two, three. Can you hear me now? Some of the foods that you might get in your daily diet, things that, I don't know why I can't. All right, so there you have it. Iron levels, make sure that you are getting those checked and eating the right foods to help boost your levels. If you learned something in the video today, if you liked something, leave us a comment down below. Click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you're the first to get all of the new videos. See you in the next one.